you can go ahead and get started. Welcome everyone. Uh, namaste. Happy, happy Thursday. It's the 23rd of February. The year is 2023 or whenever you're watching. Uh, again, I'm just going to ask you to find a comfortable seat. Maybe you're going to sit all the way back in your chair and you have your arms resting on the sides of the chair. Maybe your hands are resting on your thighs or maybe you're going to sit a little further forward. Make sure your feet are flat on the surface beneath you and that your sits bones are grounded into your seat. Close your eyes, sit up tall. And let's find Yana Mudra. Last time I was with you all, uh, we sat with Yana Mudra, index finger and thumbs touch. This is the mudra that encourages the practitioner to surrender ego to higher self. Or as I like to say, move from your heart and not from your head. So moving from the head oftentimes allows inner critic to whisper in your ear. You might start to judge where you are in your amazing journey. Moving from the heart allows you to tap into the joy that is present in every moment. It allows you to celebrate where you are in your journey today. It allows you to boldly send love out into the world and also to receive love. It also allows you to receive the information that's being fed to you through each cycle of breath and then use that information to inform your steps. So while sitting here with your eyes closed, check in that the heart space is wide open. Just bring your awareness to the breath, to your breath. Notice how the chest rises and falls with each cycle of breath. Notice how the tummy expands and contracts with each cycle of breath. And allow these actions and this awareness of the breath to lull you into a place of peace, calm, and acceptance. Try to quiet the mind, neither lingering in the past with your thoughts nor racing ahead to things that you hope to accomplish later today. Just breathe into the now. Do a scan for tension. Start at the crown of the head and work your way all the way down to the very tips of your toes. Notice the quality of the breath. If the breath is choppy, then chances are there's some tension that needs to be addressed that's trying to get your attention. And you may address it by breathing bolder into those pockets of tension, or maybe you need to shift your physical form a little bit. Maybe 
Shift your weight a little bit from side to side. Roll your shoulders and back. Maybe swivel the head a little bit. Take this time again, before we move on, to do another scan for tension. To check in that the heart space is wide open. And choose to celebrate everything that has brought you to this moment. Let's find your Anjali Mudra. Bring the thumbs to press together in the sternum, palms to press together. And take a moment to set an intention for your practice today. You may choose to dedicate your efforts to someone in particular, to a group of people, or maybe you'll just send a little bit of extra love out into the universe. Let's breathe in together for one round of all. Inhale. Um. Great. If you are sitting way back in your chair, I'll ask you now, or I'll invite you to move your way forward. Feet are flat on the mat. Sitting up tall, you're going to release your arms by your side. Have the palms facing uh, out, actually. And then as you inhale, float the arms high, bring the palms to press together overhead, look up. And then as you exhale, release the arms by your side, chin into your chest, just rounding slightly forward. Inhale, bring the palms to press together overhead, look up. Exhale, fingertips to mat, chin into the chest, rounding slightly forward. Inhale, bring the palms to press together overhead, look up. Exhale again, fingertips to mat, chin into the chest, rounding slightly forward. Inhale, one more time, bring your palms to press together overhead. From here, bring your hands to heart center. You're going to interlace the fingers, push the heels of your hands forward, round your spine, tucking your chin into your chest. And then as you inhale, sit up tall, push the heels of the hands straight up to the ceiling, make the shoulders lift up by your ears. And again, exhale, push the heels of the hands forward, round the spine, chin into your chest, keep your feet flat on the mat. Inhale, push the heels of the hands up to the ceiling, make the shoulders slide up by the ears. And again, exhale, round the spine, chin into the chest, broaden the shoulder blades away from each other. Inhale, push the heels of the hands high, shoulders slide up by the ears. One more time, push the heels of the hands forward, rounding the spine, chin into your chest. Push the heels of the hands high, sit up tall, shoulders up by the ears. You're going to separate the arms, the, the, um, the finger, bring the palms to face each other, spread the fingers wide, and start to circle out the wrists. In one direction, you let the arms slowly float down. And then you'll change the circling of the wrists. And the arms start to float out to the side. And eventually they'll float high again. Articulating through the fingers. And when the arms float up high again, have the palms facing each other, lift the shoulders up by your ears. And hug the shoulder blades towards your hips. Lift the shoulders up by the ears, and then tuck your chin into your chest. And maybe you can lift the shoulders a little bit higher. 
with the palms facing each other, maybe start to reach the arms back. So chin stays tucked to the chest, arms reach back as far as they can, keep the palms facing each other. And let's come back to neutral, sit up tall, bring your palms to rest on your knees. With your palms resting on your knees, press your palms down and then squeeze your shoulder blades towards each other and then look up at the ceiling. Now from here, keep your hands on your thighs, keep your chest lifted for as long as you can. Just hinge at the waist, maybe your tummy presses into your thighs, and then you're gonna let the head fall off the top of the spinal cup. Press your palms into your thighs, rounding your spine, and you'll eventually make your way up to sit nice and tall. As you come up to sit nice and tall again, squeeze the shoulder blades towards each other, puff up your chest, look up at the ceiling. Keep the chest lifted and hinge at the waist. You will eventually maybe bring your tummy in contact with your thighs. And when you get to that end range of motion, let your head fall off the top of the spinal column. Press your palms into your thighs, round your spine again, and make your way up to sit nice and tall. One more time, squeeze the shoulder blades towards each other. Look up at the ceiling and hinge at the waist. It's different this time. So when you get all the way down, I'm gonna say maybe your fingertips go to the mat or your palms go to the, the mat or floor in front of your feet. Relax your neck and shoulders. Now from here, maybe come up to your fingertips, maybe bring your fingertips to your shins, lengthen your spine and look down the side. So so just want to get a lengthening of the spine, and then as you exhale, melt forward. And again, inhale, fingertips to your shins, look forward. Breathe, even look up, and then exhale one more time, melting over your legs. Our time's a charm, lengthen. And from here, I'm going to suggest that you take hold of your elbows, shift your weight further forward, and see if you can lift your sitting bones away from your chair, hanging over. Knees might be bent a little bit or a whole lot, totally up to you. Relax your neck as much as you can, and then maybe start to sway your torso from side to side. And use the crossing of your arms and continue to tug on those elbows and sway gently from side to side. Again, if you can get the knees to straighten more, great. Check in though if you're hypermobile that you're not locking out your joints. So you want to keep some, you want you would uh, ideally keep some sort of a micro bend in your knees so that again you're not locking out your joints. We'll come back to neutral, and then let's just play with this a few times. Maybe you keep, uh, take hold of the elbows or you bring your fingertips down to your floor. Then uh, bend your knees and see if your sitting bones can find the chair again. And then lift up again. Again, sitting bones back down to your chair. And lift up again. Sitting bones down to your chair. And lift them behind the knees again. One more time. And lift it behind it. So for some of you, you want to play with this. We're going to come have your feet about hips width apart. You're going to bend your knees again and then take hold of your wrists or your elbows behind your knees and then use this action to pull your tummy towards your thighs. Try to relax your neck and shoulders. Maybe you send the hips a little bit lower to start and then send the sitting bones up to the ceiling. Keep the weight on the balls of your feet. Maybe your forehead comes in contact with your knees or your shins. Maybe your knees are bent a little bit. Maybe they're bent a lot. Maybe you're able to find more length behind the knees. Keep the weight on the balls of your feet. 
Deep breathing here. Feel your quadriceps, the muscles that on the tops of your thighs engaging. That's going to allow your hamstrings to release a little bit more. Right, we're going to release this action. Remove the arms or let go of your arms or your wrists. Fingertips might touch the floor. Bend your knees, chin it to your chest, and slowly roll your way up to stand. Just stacking one vertebra on top of the next. When you make your web to stand nice and tall, let's do three big old shoulder rolls to the back. Three, two, one, and then three big old shoulder rolls to the front. Three, two, one. Great. So here we go. We have our trusty chair. I'm going to ask you to step maybe like, depending on your range of motion, a couple of feet away from the chair. Bring your hands to your hips. You're going to bend your knees and then hinge at the waist, moving your torso sort of parallel to the floor. And then from here, take your hands to the, to your, to the seat. Straighten your arms as much as you can. And depending on your range of motion, maybe you'll step your feet back a little bit further. You're going to push into the heels, of, uh, push into your palms, and then allow your heart to melt closer to the mat or floor. So it's trying to get into the thoracic spine, get into the shoulders a little bit more. Your knees can totally be bent or maybe you'll straighten. And we're breathing. If after a couple of breathings you find, oh, there's some more space, maybe you step your feet back a little bit more. If you've maxed out the movement and want to come out of the shape earlier, come out of it. Otherwise, we just have two more deep breaths here. Great. If you walk your feet back, step them forward a, cup, uh, a step or two. Bend your knees again. Bring your hands back to your hips and then make your way up to stand. When you reach way up to stand nice and tall, I'm going to ask you to step your right foot onto your seat. And you might need to shift that weight. You want that right foot flat on the chair. And you want the left foot flat on the floor. And just lift up to the ball of your right foot. And bring the heel down, lift up to the ball of the foot, and bring the heel back down. Now, for some of you, this is enough, right? You just play, maybe try to come up to the very tip of your toe. For some of you, maybe you balance on that left leg and lift that right foot away from the seat. You can take your arms high, hands can be in your hips. And then step your right foot next to your left foot. And we'll do the same thing on the second side. So you're gonna step your left foot firmly into the center of your seat. Make sure that, especially if you're in the office and your seat is on wheels, that maybe it's against the walls so it doesn't roll away from you. And then try to get this along the line of your shoulders right over your hips. And really feel that the energy is moving through the arch of that right foot all the way through the midline or through the inseam of that right thigh, all the way out through the crown of your head. And then we're just going to lift the heel of your left foot away from the seat. And bring it back down. Lift the heel away from the seat. And bring it back down. Lift the heel away from the seat. And for some of you, this is enough. If you're adding on, keep lifting out of your pelvic floor and see if that left foot can float away from your chair. And maybe you float the fingertips high. Maybe you have your hands on your hips. And then step your left foot next to your right. And shake it out. Let it go. Shake it out. Let it go. 
So we're going to play with a little more balancing today. So I'm just going to step this way. So we're going to stand on that left leg. And once again, we're going to float, try to float the right thigh parallel to the seat. If you're adding on, maybe wrap your right fingertips around your right shin and pull your right thigh closer to your chest, standing up tall. Now, if you're feeling like you want to challenge the balance more, that left hand can come to the right shin as well. And both hands are pulling the thigh in closer to you. Standing up as tall as you can. And now, take your left hand back to your seat. Right hand stays wrapped around the right shin. Just going to open your right thigh out to the right. Keep your shoulders squared off. And then take the right thigh forward. Right thigh out to the right. And take it forward. Right thigh out to the right. And take it forward. Now, for extra credit, right arm up. And then straighten the right leg in front of you. Which doesn't look really, doesn't look great on the camera. So here... Right leg in front. And then again, maybe you test your balance. Left arm goes up as well. And step your right foot down. And we get to do that on the second side. So just kind of shake out your legs, let it go. What was, was, what is, is, what's to come, we don't know yet. So let's just stay here in the now. Tap into the joy, maybe even add a smile. Stay strong on that right leg. For some of you, maybe come up to the tips of the left toes. Maybe you can float the left eye parallel to the ceiling. Maybe adding on, wrap the left fingertips around your left shin and see if you can pull your left thigh a little bit closer to your chest. And this might be enough, or if you want to check your balance, remove the right hand from the seat, and then take both hands to your shin and pull your thigh closer to your chest. See if you can stand up a little bit taller. Now, from here, return your hand to that seat back again. And then we're just going to open the left thigh out to the left as far as your range of motion allows. So try not to turn your ribs with it. Just keep the shoulders square up. Then move your thigh forward. And then out to the side. And forward. And out to the side. And forward. So, again, if you're happy here, stay here. If you're playing with the balance... You're going to let go of that left shin and then straighten the leg in front of you. And again, I'll turn to the side. So try to keep your shoulders over your hips. Try to keep your thigh on where it is and see what happens. Just lift it behind the knee. If the leg is lower than 90 degrees, that's fine. And maybe both arms are up. And step your left foot next to your right foot. And again, shake it out. Let it go. Shake it out, let it go. We're gonna do one more standing. And today we're gonna to do a twist. So we're gonna come back to standing firmly on your own two feet. Step your right foot to that seat back or to the seat, the, the seat cushion, if you have a cushioned seat. You're gonna take your left hand to the outside of your right knee. Try to keep your hips squared off. Start to rotate from above the belly button. You'll eventually look over your right shoulder. You might even reach the right arm behind you. Now look past the fingertips on your right hand. And get a sense of someone gently tugging on those left fingertips, or right fingertips, and feel that long line of energy that feeds into the heart, opening up some more. And let's come back to center. And we'll switch sides. So make sure your foundation is sturdy. Step that left foot onto the chair. Feel grounded in the left foot, grounded in your right foot. Keep the spine as long as possible. Take your right hand to the outside of your left knee or thigh. And then start to reach the left fingertips back. So make sure your foundation is sturdy. 
then start to rotate from above the belly button upward. And the last layer of this, or last two layers, would be to look over your left, uh, past your left fingertips. The cherry on top would be to add a smile. And again, get a sense of someone tugging on those fingertips. Feel that energy traveling through the fingertips. So your arms, your shoulders, your hands are all associated with the fourth point of the chakra pole. That's your love center. So again, just open it up, open it up, open it up. And we'll come back to center. And step your left foot down. Let's have a seat in your chair again. And make sure that your foundation is sturdy. Sitting ideally forward. <clears throat> just gonna extend your right leg in front of you and just start to circle out the ankle a few times in one direction. The height of the leg doesn't matter. Just try to get as much motion through that right ankle as possible. And then circle the ankle in the other direction. We'll switch feet, step that right foot flat on the floor, lengthen behind your left knee and just start to circle that left ankle out. And take your time. And circle the ankle in the other direction. And step your left foot flat on the mat. So from here, squeeze your, again your shoulder blades towards each other. Puff up the chest. And maybe you can take your hands behind you to grab the sides of the chair, or maybe take them back to the, uh, to the armrest or to the sides of your chair, or maybe even the back of the chair. And then squeeze them close to each other, puff up your chest as much as you can, and you can actually let the torso hinge a little further forward. And again, squeeze the shoulder blades towards each other. Feel them nudging the heart forward. Maybe get a little more extension to the spine. And let's come back to center. Bring your hands to the uh, side of the chair. Go ahead, you can shift your weight back a little bit. You're going to take your right ankle, bring it on top of your left thigh. Flex that foot, just gently press the right thigh down and hold it here for five. Keep pressing down for four. Sit up tall. Four, three, four, two, four, one. Release that action. And then go ahead, cross your right thigh all the way over the left. See if your right ankle can press to the outside of your left shin. Take your left hand to the outside of your right thigh and pull your right thigh over to the left and take your right hand to the side of the chair and then look over your right shoulder, twisting here. And come back to center and uncross your legs. Same thing on the second side. With the left foot flex, bring the left ankle on top of your right thigh. Take your left palm, press down on that thigh for five. Sitting up tall for four. Keep pressing down for three. Press it down for two. Press it down for one. And let that go. And we're going to cross the left knee all the way over the right. Maybe you can press your ankle to the outside, left ankle to the outside of your right shin. We're going to take your right hand to the outside of that left knee thigh, the one that's on the top. 
And you're going to pull the left knee thigh over to the right some more. And then your left hand maybe goes to the seat or to the armrest or to the back of the chair. And let's just take one more twist here, looking over your left shoulder. And we'll come back to center, uncross your legs. Separate your feet so they're about hips width apart, maybe a little bit wider. You're gonna pitch forward and just take your forearms to the inside of your thighs and squeeze your thighs into your arms and press your arms into your thighs. Squeeze for five, four, squeeze in three, two, one, let it go. Make your way up to sit nice and tall, with the shoulders up by the ears, and let it go. Again, shoulders up by the ears, and let it go. One more time, shoulders up by the ears, and let it go. So feel free to stay seated more towards the front of your chair, or if you want to lean all the way back or shift the weight back and allow the back of the chair to support you. I am cool with either one. Close your eyes. Check in with the breath again. And as best you can, again, try to tap into the joy that is present right now. And if that awareness of your connection into Mother Earth and Father Sky and how much you are loved unconditionally starts to become more apparent, so much so that you might even spontaneously smile, I welcome it. Know that you are amazing. Know that your existence, your presence does matter. Know that you brought more light into the world by showing up today, by honoring where you are in your journey, by setting an intention and then just sending that energy with no strings attached, right? Heart space wide open. I shared this quote last week. Comparison is the thief of joy. So own and celebrate everything that makes you you. Share your uniqueness unapologetically. Find your Anjali Mudra thumbs, press into the heart space. I encourage you to take your yoga with you. Allow it to arm you as you navigate your way through your moment-to-moment -moment existence. Try to remain less reactive. Stay in your place of peace, always letting your light shine. Deep breath in for a round of bone in him. Bowing for it, Namaste.
Thank you for playing. Thank you for playing. Have an awesome day. Uh, if you need me, I'm Diva Smiling Yogi on IG. You can email me at divasmilingyogi at gmail.com, or you can reach out to me through Stack Yoga or through Rutgers. So many options. Uh, yeah, have an awesome day. Thank